Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, September the 15th. 11 races on the fast poly track. The first one, Phillies and Mares going five and a half. Scratch the six. Robin's Golden Girl. The favorites in here, the seven Honeymoon Hotel and the one sweet deal to win. And they're off. Honeymoon Hotel and Harassment broke well from the outside on the rail. That sweet deal to win. Then it's Arzani. Length and a half back to Goodwill. The trailers are Spectacular Sparkle and Hello and Goodbye. As they move down the back stretch, Honeymoon Hotel has opened the lead. Has it now by two and a half lengths over Harassment. Down along the inside, Sweet Deal to win his third. Arzani runs a fourth. Two back, Goodwill moves from fifth. Then Spectacular Sparkle, Hello and Goodbye. 22 and 3 for the opening quarter. The leader is Honeymoon Hotel, but Harassment is gaining on the outside. Honeymoon Hotel still has a head in front. Harassment, those two right together. Arzani moves up from third. Center of the track, Spectacular Sparkle. Harassment now gets the lead from Honeymoon Hotel. It's Harassment by a half length over Honeymoon Hotel. Then Arzani, a photo for fourth. Number eight, Harassment with Ben Creed aboard takes the first 1560. 820 and 460. Honeymoon Hotel had to settle for second. Arzani closed for third. The exact 6160, the Tri 57420. And the Super 1500, $30.20, five and a half, 105 and four. Second race, 5,000 claimers going a mile. Scratch the six. Roll on Rouge. Program favorites, the two speak the word and the five, Vic Torn. It's final ending with the lead. Now has it by two and a half. Speak the word, gains from second. Outlaw Academy third. Up on the outside, Baron Shadow is fourth. Inside the final furlong. Final ending. Has the lead over Speak the Word. Final ending and Amanda Tamborello lead all the way. Speak the word, second Outlaw Academy, third, then Baron Shadow. Number three, final ending with Amanda Tamborello leads all the way to pay 2860. 960, 480, favored Speak the Word, second. Outlaw Academy, third, the double 17660. Exact is 6620, the try 27440, and the super $1,179.20. Running time 139 and two. Third race, six furlong claiming Phillies and Mares scratch the seven magnificent mile. Program favorites, the nine missing Sifa and the two bold tap. They're at the post. And they're off. Single bling was off slowly for the lead. That's Ms. Pardner rules. From the inside, Desi girl. Then it's true Jean followed on the rail by bold tap. Down the back stretch. It's Ms. Pardner rules in front, now length and a half. Desi Girl is second, True Jean runs third, Bold Tap fourth. Up on the outside, Image of Grace is fifth. Then it's Single Bling. The favorite, Missing Sifa, still far back. And the trailer, Soulful Silver. First quarter, 22 and 2. The leader, Ms. Pardner rules by a length and a half. Desi Girl is second. On the outside, True Jean third. Bold Tap runs fourth. Up in the center of the track. Missing Sifa gains now from fifth, but into the stretch. Ms. Pardner rules has the lead by two and a half. Then from between horses, True Jean, followed by Desi Girl. Up from the outside, Image of Grace and Missing Sifa. Ms. Pardner rules. Wins it by almost four over True Jean. Then from the inside, Image of Grace, followed by Missing Sifa. Number four, Ms. Pardner rules with Rodrigo Vergara. Springs the upset, $24, $10.80 and $8. True Jean was second. Image of Grace third, the double $184.60. Exacta $157.60. The try for a dollar, $1,145.40. Super $8,266. The pick three pays on two out of three. $58 for two out of three, running time 111 and one. Fourth race, six furlong claiming race, scratch the one penny's court and the four touch of revenge. The program favorites, the three candy melody and the six west side singer. 
And they're off. For the lead, the outside, West Side Singer. The inside, that's Candy Melody. Then it's Crafty Connie, followed by In Gain. And the trailer, at Scylla. Down the back stretch. On the outside, West Side Singer has a head in front. Down along the rail, Candy Melody. They're together. Crafty Connie third ahead. In Gain is fourth. At Scylla runs a fifth. First quarter went in 22 and 3. Candy Melody and West Side Singer still together. Now gaining up on the outside. That is at Scylla and Crafty Connie. Then down along the inside in gain. They're very well bunched. Candy Melody, though, now comes out with the lead. It's Candy Melody. Has it by a length and a half. In gain on the inside takes second. Then from between horses at Scylla and West Side Singer, it's Candy Melody in front. In gain down along the rail. Candy Melody and Perry Utes win at a length and a half. Over in gain. Photo for third looked like West Side Singer over at Scylla. Number three, Candy Melody under Perry Utes, trained by Larry Holt. Perry Utes inching his way toward that 6,000th career win, $524 and $220. In gain was second. West Side Singer third, the double 8140. Exact at 2320, the try $60.80. Pick three, $2,519.40. And the pick four, over 17,000. Running time, 111 and one. Fifth race, uh, claiming race, three and up. Favorites, the five Lunar Fleet with Perry Utes and the one Timbuk two under Edgar Palcar. It's Lunar Fleet with the lead. Rivers Legacy up on the outside runs second. It's a gap of three lengths. Then up from the center of the track, Honcho inside the final furlong and Lunar Fleet. Now draws away Rivers Legacy second. Lunar Fleet back to back wins for Perry Utes. Rivers Legacy second photo for third, Honcho and Harbor Plate. The favorite Lunar Fleet gives Perry Utes back to back wins, eight shy now of the 6,000 win mark. 440, $3.280. Rivers Legacy finished second, the nine Honcho was third. The double 2140, exact to $25. The try $245.20. The super $1262.40. And the pick three, $230.80. Running time, 138 and 1. Sixth race, uh, one mile claiming race. Scratch the three, the program favorites, the four, Weagle, and the five, John Ron. Now it's five lengths back up on the outside to John Ron. They're into the stretch, and Weagle still there, length and a half. Vita Desiderata on the outside. The inside frog flyer. Late run on John Ron on the outside. It's Vita Desiderata and John Ron. Vita Desiderata wins it ahead over John Ron. Then we go and frog flyer. Tight finish there. Vita Desiderata under Ivan Cruz just holds on 660, 340, 240. John Ron made up a ton of ground. Finished second. Weagle was third. The double 2120 exact of $39. The try 9560. Super 23440 and the pick three 12220. The mile went in 139 and four. Seventh race, 5,000 claimers going six furlongs. Scratch the four, six, 11, and 13. Program favorites, the 12, I must be perfect, and the seven, Ali's funny little gal. And they're off. I must be perfect broke sharply from that outside post. Threw from the inside, kiss me, bam, bam. Then between horses, justifiably salty Lady Lua. Down the back stretch and kiss me, bam, bam, moves through on the rail. Gets the lead, has it a half length. I must be perfect second. Down along the inside, Lady Lua runs third, justifiably salty fourth ahead. Ali's funny little gal runs fifth. Two and a half back to Lions Ghost in sixth. Then it's Go Go Racer, followed by Zippy Carly Joe and a big gap to Red Beads. The quarter 22 and four, quick opening quarter. Kiss me, bam, bam, I must be perfect. Now on the outside, Ali's funny little gal 
Gains ground now. She takes second. Moving to the outside, justifiably salty. But into the stretch, I must be perfect is in front. Justifiably salty on the outside now takes a second. Through from the inside, that's Lady Lua. It's I must be perfect in Oriana Rossi. I must be perfect by two. Justifiably salty second. Then Lady Lua, Ali's funny little gal. Number 12, I must be perfect, the favorite under Oriana Rossi, 320, 260, 240, justifiably salty, was second, third, the five, Lady Lua, the double 1820, exact a 980, the try 104, super 2, 91, 20, the pick 3, 45, 20, pick 5 over 1300, running time 111 and 4. Eighth race is a maiden race, three and up, program favorites, the six, Loud Pipes, Oriana Rossi looking for back-to-back -back win and the five artistic design under Ben Creed. And they're off. Loud pipes broke sharply from between horses. Also up from the inside, that is Elusive Male, followed by artistic design. Tony Baggs now up on the outside. It's Loud Pipes length. Tony Baggs into second. Length and half artistic design, third ahead, elusive male runs fourth. Warrior's Honor moves up in fifth. Five lengths back to Bellamy's Thunder. Then it's Ultimate Joy and the Trailer, Storm Performer. 22 and three for the quarter. As they move into the turn, Loud Pipes has opened the lead to a length and a half over Tony Bags. Artistic design on the outside third. Two and a half to Warriors Honor in fourth. Elusive Mail down along the rail runs fifth. Bellamy's Thunder sixth. As they move into the stretch, up on the outside, it's Artistic Design. Still down along the inside, Loud Pipes comes back. Those two right together, and Loud Pipes retakes the lead from Artistic Design. Then Elusive Mail, it's Loud Pipes. Two in a row for Oriana Rossi. Artistic design second, elusive male third, photo for fourth. Number six, Loud Pipes, a game winner, came back again for the win. Two in a row for Oriana Rossi, trained by Mike Maker, 340, 222, 10, artistic design, first time starter ran big. Elusive male third, the double, $8, short prices, the exacta 880, the try 4440, the super, $210.40, pick three, 3420. Good running time for the uh, Maidens, 1, 10, and 3 for the 6 furlongs. Ninth race, optional claiming allowance race, 6.5 furlong scratch the 4 dynamite bob. Program favorites, the 6 title volume and the 5 patoki. And they're off. Patoki breaks sharply, shows his normal early speed. Up on the outside, Big Albert and title volume. Then it's Faisal Prince. Monty's best and Beeline's edge. Down the back stretch, Patoki with a two length lead, title volume second. Length and a half, Big Albert third, Faisal Prince fourth. Two more back to the trailers, Beeline's edge and Monty's best. Quarter in a quick 21 and four. Patoki has the lead by two and a half, title volume second. Four lengths now to Big Albert in third. Faisal Prince is fourth, B-Line's Edge fifth, Monty's Best is sixth. As they move for the stretch, Patoki has the lead. Now just a length and a half. Title volume up on the outside, gains from second. Then it's a gap of five lengths back. Moving up from between horses, B-Line's Edge. Down along the inside, Faisal Prince. They're inside the final furlong and... Title volume now gets the lead and draws away. It's title volume winning by four. Beeline's edge up for second. Faisal Prince, or rather uh, Patoki held third over Faisal Prince. The favorite uh, title volume under C.J. Hernandez, trained by Tom Amos. 320, 242.10, third odds on favorite in a row. Second was the one Beeline's edge. Third, the five Patoki. The double three dollars exact in 1980 the try 7440 the super 180 60 pick three ten dollars and uh, 60 cents running time 117 10th race optional claiming allowance scratch six eight and nine 
The favorite, the five jelly cable and the one soul of Hollywood. And they're off. For the lead from between horses, that's Dandy Deal. Moving through from the inside, extra zesty. Down along the rail, soul of Hollywood. Then it's Jelly Cable, Tequila Bell, and Bibin down the back stretch. It's Soul of Hollywood with the lead by a length. Extra Zesty second ahead on the outside. Dandy Deal runs third. Gap of two to Tequila Bell in fourth. Jelly Cable is now fifth. Bibin is the trailer. Quarter 22 and one. Now up from the outside, that's Dandy Deal who moves right by and gets the lead. Extra zesty second, Soul of Hollywood drops back. Tequila Bell moves up, moving to the extreme outside, that's Jelly Cable. As they move into the stretch, Babin is the trailer. It's Dandy Deal in front. Now by a length and a half on the outside, Extra Zesty. Jelly Cable gains from third, but it's Dandy Deal in front, and Dandy Deal holds on for Amanda Tamborello, wins it by a length. Finishing second was extra zesty, then Jelly Cable. Number four, Dandy Deal with Amanda Tamborello, trained by Sean Murphy, page 1680, 743.20, extra zesty, second favorite Jelly Cable, third. The double, 3380 the exact of $133, the try, 40620 Super effective, $3,380, and the pick three, 5540 Running time, 119 and 1. 11th and final race, Maiden Claimer is going a mile. The favorites, the 3 C for Chant, and the 10 Portman. Pick em up truck has the lead. Portman up on the outside, second. Then on the inside, Titanium Tiff. Those three together, C4 Chant is gaining from the extreme outside. Portman, though, gets the lead. It's Portman in front. The inside, Titanium Tiff. C for Chant. Portman wins it over C for Chant. Titanium Tiff and pick em up truck. Number 10, Portman under Fabio Arguello takes the last race. Trained by Jimmy Baker. Paid to 563.40, C for Chant. Probably best in there. Got a terrible trip. Uh, finished second. Titanium, Titanium Tiff third. The double paid uh, $65. The exact in 1960. The try paid uh, one. 147.20, the super $628, late pick four for a dollar, 158.30, running time 140 for the Turfway Park Report. I'm Mike Pataglia. Good night.